Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Wednesday, August 26th. Coming up today, a headline reading of July Durable Goods Orders is released. Retailers Abercrombie & Fitch and Guess release their quarterly results. And representatives of Ukraine, Russia, and pro-Russian rebels meet for peace talks. Well, China has taken its 13th step to boost its economy and stock market. The People's Bank of China moved to ease the economy further, saying it will inject 140 billion yuan, or 20 21 billion U.S. dollars into the financial system. The Shanghai Composite was extremely volatile with 3% gains, then 3% losses. It ended up closing down a little more than 1%. All this has led U.S. stocks to possibly post the biggest yearly drop since 2008. And Schlumberger is buying Cameron Worth for $14.8 billion. The deal represents a 56% premium over Tuesday's close for Cameron Worth. Schlumberger is the world's number one oil field services company. And Transocean seeking to cancel its dividend payments for the third and fourth quarter of this year. It says it's necessary to forego the dividend payments due to capital losses stemming from falling oil prices. That is a wrap for us, but be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.